We're gonna get back into the action. Right now, my name is Big Daddy Nom Nom. You might know me uh, like from somewhere around the PNW, EYTO commentator. And this is... Yeah, I'm Combo. I'm new here. I've uh, moved here recently from Texas, but I've commentated a, a plethora of things, so there's a maybe non-zero chance you've heard of me before. But if not, nice to meet you all. I'm really happy to be here over at Final Judgment, and I'm super excited to see what we got coming up here next. So we got winners, quarters, fi quarterfinals here, right? Mm -hmm. We're on winner side top 24. Um, really, this top 16 winner side qualifying for top 8. Exactly. Um, and so we're going to have Nano Ash and Mr. E stepping up to the plate here. Lucina up against Bowser. So Nano Ash going with a crazy upset earlier against Jojo the Hobo. Uh, in his pool, which was like, that was a pretty sick say. You know, honestly, you love to see the heavyweights run around and do heavyweight things, right? Why else is Major super popular as well as for the Cascadian Clash votes? Uh, it's, you love to see these characters go do their funny one, two moves, they're dead. Exactly. That's all it needs to be. And that is what Bowser is. It's a one-two machine. If you get hit with a Nair and you get hit with the Bear, dude, that just hurts. You go to the Blast one every time. You're dead. And that's what makes it good. But again, he's going against the Phenom, Mr. E out of Tri-State. And semi-PNW, he was living in the PNW for a little bit and, and honestly is part of the Rewa scene, Mayon PR. So he is a part of the PNW. We, um, he is definitely a not uncommon face to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely not. I mean, he's already qualified. For Cascadia Clash, right? You already know he's been around the block just a little bit. I uh, wasn't sure if there's a button check or not at the beginning, but wow, we've already gone for an offstage interaction. 50% on to Nano Ash, 0% on Mr. E so far. But that is like what Bowser doesn't care about, right? He's a big, big boy that can get through a lot of stuff. Um, and, and he doesn't particularly care about damage in this matchup. I mean, Lucina, you can put on as much damage as you want, but it's going to be hard to kill, right? Yeah. I mean, you have those back airs off stage. You have the the Nair, Nair and the F smash. You have your things, but again, this is a cookie cut type character. You just know what, like exactly what Lucina wants. It's it's it, it's funny sorting. It, yeah. It completely is. <laughs> uh, the amount of funny can be questionable. Definitely sorty. Uh, definitely sorty. And I, I think, yeah, Lucina can sometimes struggle to land some of those kill setups, and it really needs to commit to a good edge guard situation. Um, or, or, you know, just a random smash attack. Because like, F smash is pretty fast. Uh, I want to say frame 13, 14, something like that. It's not the slowest thing in the world. But, um, yeah, Bowser again doesn't care. Stacking that rage. 158% here. 93% mystery. They're both kill percent right now. This is even. This game is 100% even. 1,000%. That's what Nano Ash has thrived on. We saw it in the JoJo set. Ooh. A lot of the times he would stack up in the rage and just take advantage of that with a fair. But, fortunately for him, Mr. E gets it with that up air. And the first stock will go in E's favor. Not going to let him land. Not this time. That up air definitely covers a lot of space. And even though there's not a whole lot of platforms to mix things up here on FD, and sometimes that can be a little bit harder to, to, to keep up juggles. Um, I think Mr. E did a fine job and took that first stock. But uh, yeah, a big thing here is, is Lucina, not necessarily like the strongest combo-centric character, but she's definitely got strings of combos that she can apply, as we just see right here. Case end point, 70% uh, of these up air juggles alone. And Bowser's unfortunately a combo food character that puts Ooh. him at an almost entire stock disadvantage. But great tech here from Nano Ash. Big e, Mr. E is going to go in deep. Try oh, to catch. what a great parry! parry. And that Take it. Now, again, the percentage has been tagged on, but that's some style from Nano Ash's corner. And just like that, maybe a little bit of that momentum is going back in the favor of Nano Ash. Yeah, just a little bit. Although I feel like, uh, of all players, Mystery is not one to get phased too much. And there you go, right? He didn't even tech that up. He looked a little dangerous for a microsecond right there. But mystery has got it. He's going to go recover, get that up. And Nano Ash can go down another stock, unfortunately, as you're talking about momentum, right? Trying to get it back. This is going to be a pretty big mental hit here for, for Nano Ash to climb up this hill of the, the well rounded swordsman that is Lucina. Exactly, and it's just tough for Bowser to get in, you know. Um, Lucina is a sortie with very, very fast frame data and can really frame trap you in a lot of ways, and when it gets in, you're a big body. There's not much you can do. Like, like you will take on that percentage, and again, again, oh. you don't really, you know, care, but again, if you take that much and you don't get allowed in, what can you do? Yeah, That's what fair. was the point of the whole thing, right? Absolutely. Like, ultimately, right, you're taking damage, you're stacking some rage, you're not gonna die because you're bigger, right? No. I get it, but they are inch by inch moving towards their win condition. Are you winning towards yours? That's kind of the, the, the big question that all these big bodies have to answer right now. Nanoash cannot find a way in. He going deep for this back here. Not quite going to get Nanoash is going to be able to recover. That up smash, I saw it. That's a commitment. Uh, great anterior up tilt. I guess there's no anterior part of it, but great up tilt uh, there for Mystery to, to neutralize things and send Nanoash right back off stage. That back here too. See, at this percent, almost any hit from Lucina is going to send you off stage or at least flying. That gives her way more time to prepare good stage positioning. And that makes it all the harder for Nanoash to, to really reclaim this game. And it just feels like 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 he's just swatting him out of the air. Whenever Ash is trying to get in, it's just not coming to fruition. You know, he just 
launch him at? Like that, that was, was three tilts. That was a fly swatter. Yeah, that was a fly swatter. Two said, up tilts, said, one four tilt. You are in front of me. Go that way. Yeah. I don't You're need you me. in my space. Go this way. <laughs> See this? Uh, you were trying to pop my bubble, right? Right? Mm. And I'm not gonna let you do that. That that, that, that that's that's funnies. Uh, like like the sword funnies of Mr. E is so damn powerful. Mm. I mean, whenever I watch E plays, like. It, it just feels like he has this impossible bubble when he's flickering sheared, mm. or, or shield or like short hopping at you. It's like you can't get in unless he lets you, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. hard when Mr. E just has this way and this talent of just being like, hey, force field. Yeah. Stay out of my space. Field. The steel's right here. Get yeah. past it. You can't do it, buddy. What are you going to do against this disjoint, right? I mean, of course, Mystery is a le Martin Lucina legend of the of, of the ages, right? Mm. Generations have, have gone by, uh, game-wise, I mean, not in real life. Of course. Right? But, like, all the way back from the Brawl <laughs> this Days. This guy's, like, 60 years old, you know? <laughs> Smash Bros. been around for 100 years. What are you talking about? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> like medieval ages, we saw Bowser yeah. battling that one 64, you know? Nah, he was doing it. He was. This is just historical recreation, honestly. Mm. But, <laughs> yeah, Mystery has been in the space absolutely no stranger to any sort of, of matchup experience, mm. really, right? And knowing how to really fundamentally, at the core level, how to play his character, how to approach matchups. Right, we're seeing you know th these fading counters off stage to the active hitbox mm. to a, a Bowser's up here, right? That counter yeah. is going to help a lot. Uh, hasn't quite been able to land it, but the fact the pressure is always there makes all of Nano Ash's life so much harder to deal with. Absolutely, and like a lot of the time with with those falling like um, counters is that it's it's not he got it one time, right? Mm. And like all this, oh, oh. finally we're si we, we're finally seeing something from Ash's side. Maybe it was the Maybe it's the platforms. I don't know, but I think platforms a big part of it. Yeah, it, it probably was. I mean, like that that side B can just do so much. Ooh. And the F smash. Raw force smash. There we go. We're talking about he it. Said, okay, <laughs> you took the stock. You got it, man. Not I anymore. I can't let you push Not the extra credit. Not anymore. You can get as much as you want, but hey, guess what? This is summer school, yeah. you know. You know, we're getting out of it, and and, and we're no extra starting credit class. here today, boys. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. not at all, not at all. But right, what's the ledge get up situation gonna be? All right, we're going for the shield breaker again. Mystery is not afraid of the parry. Uh, maybe checking to see if Nano Ash can do it consistently. Nice jab reset to the side B there, the dancing blade. So again, coming to force smash, gonna take a force up to the face for it. Nano Ash trying to go for a dash drive, gonna get down to it, poked away. Great spacing here for Mystery, keeping him away. Wow, the reverse hit down here actually hit up and behind him to keep Nano Ash far and away. Great usage of that tool. I love the back air right there from Mr. E. Give him off stage, but now in this there where it's like we're chasing to the opposite side of it. You're just swatting back and, and, and just following and following and following. Oh, oh I love the drift from Nano Ash. The drift is incredible. Barely getting around. It felt like Tokyo Drift right there. King <laughs> quite around, and that's not going to take it quite yet. 68, a little bit. Mm, but Ooh, that's up that's tilt. the big we'll thing about platforms with Lucina uh, and Martha as well. Of course. It's like that up tilt. Does not let you land. Does not let you chill, right? You're getting shield mm. pressure. You're getting comboed. Uh, I mean, look at this, right? Uh, although platform it's was not that. too yeah. uh, too utilized there. Like the point is, the possibility is super strong. That's why you know Lucina loves going to battlefield, oh, right? Absolutely. Like that, that, those platforms are absolutely massive, and specifically because of up to up to it's incredible too. On this exactly, and we'd be seeing like like Mr. E and Proto using them all the time. I remember when I was watching. Uh, oh, oh, that nice big really get up attack! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Punching you straight in the chest. But again, what I was saying back is that mm -hmm. whenever I watch Lucina and I see plats, like, hey. Why not up tilt, you know? No. Every single time, it just keeps you in the air, air and keeps those jumping scenarios keep on going. But now we're back into it, seeing what's happening, and just Ooh. boom, boom, double hit, 93%. Not a good area if you are Nano Ash. Oh. Missing that, but the luckily- double spot dodge. They're playing spot dodge footsies right now. Absolutely. Get that spot dodge in the area you want to be, and that's fair. Oh, the that's double the fair. Can no. this be something right here? Not yet, not yet. We got flip coming breath. out. Okay, all right. Creates the space back oh. here. There's the side beam. This is gonna be solid. Not quite on platform, but we're 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 dead even here, folks. We are this is super super scary right now for both players on the board. What's the edge guard situation gonna be? Mystery's looking for it. Great wait here from Nano Ash. The falling up air. Can he take this stock? The four That's two. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Game one. Game two goes Nano Ash. We are tied straight up. An absolute reverse of what happened in that game one. It just felt like it wasn't. Mystery corner, but Nano Ash just like he kept capitalizing when he had to. That F still taking the game. I, I, I mean, frankly, this book, the plot's changed. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't ever call it too early. The writer hasn't died yet. He's keeping it up. He's keeping it up. And uh, are you talking about Game of Thrones? I, 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 I don't. Know, I feel like we're talking about Game of Thrones. It's like, uh, like that guy's old. He's like, he's like dirt, man. You know. I'll leave that for me. interpretation. You know, I'll, you I'll interpret. Let, you your, interpret the way you want. Exactly. We can let the viewers decide. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Talk yeah. to them. That's what we're doing. We're like, we're like, you get to be creative. You get to think we're, about. We're that. storytellers here, mm -hmm. but they get—they're the ones receiving the story, right? Yes. Just like art, right? The person who perceives the art. It's we on are, them. We're artists. We are artists in our own. We're way. like Kendrick Lamar. We're like Kendrick Lamar's of commentators, right? <laughs> 
Absolutely. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. That's what I would say. But game three going to Smashville. What do you think about the stage choice? Uh, I so I think the the moving platform here is gonna help. Uh, well, actually, I don't know because of hazards. Never mind. Uh, yeah, the center stage choice platform is gonna mean that like Mystery is gonna really like the center stage. But that means that uh, when he's kind of going out to commit to these edge guards, which of course is super strong against Bowser, sometimes gonna be giving up that center stage positioning, which can be a, a little problematic. But ultimately, I think you know Mystery is perfectly fine with this, and Nano is really gonna be the one that's gonna have to play around a little bit. But Bowser has no no sucker of an up tilt either, no. right? You gotta worry about like the the upwards pressure Bowser has with up smash, covering landings. You have your up airs. I mean, it, it's like Nanoash could definitely play on this, and clearly Nanoash is doing doing just fine with now with a forty percent lead. Mystery trying to find his way back in. We got center stage here on Nanoash. Use the platform is gonna help a lot with the side B. Just just like. We're seeing Nano Ash's pressure just oh! work and calling out Call the jump out. from ledge. The fair will take that stock. And we're seeing Ash like doing some damage right now. Really like like by the way, wasn't supposed to be in the top 24, right? Um, this is a very definitely not winner side anyway. Definitely, <laughs> absolutely not winner side. You know, I for me, I'm low key didn't see this happening, but right now he's showing why he deserves to be here. You know, mm -hmm. whenever Mr. E makes one mistake. He catches it in neutral and just takes advantage. But that is what Bowser is good at. That's if what the big Bowser is about. Run. That's what heavies are. Yeah. You, 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 know, you know, like I play the like, Ooh. okay, you make a mistake, that dies. But Mr. E is not going to drop that nope, ledge guard. Nope. Absolutely not. I mean, that is the bread and butter of Lucina. If you are down and below stage, bear. Yeah. Bear every single yeah. time. That's going to take you stop. Yeah. Up you into ledge. Hope you can take it. Mm -hmm. 150 plus, you're not taking that. <laughs> uh, especially in this matchup, too, where Bowser has a relatively uh, understandable recovery with an active hitbox that Lucian's counter can yeah. also beat. But I think Nano should be doing a fantastic job of kind of maneuvering around and drifting when needed to to actually recover the stage like really safely. Of all the situations that Mystery has gone down for edge guarding, mm -hmm. Nano should be able to recover. Like, I think he's got it yet again. Recover high, keep up the mix ups going. Nice downer spike into back here, though. It's not definitely not going to be close enough to kill. That's oh, it. That's but Nano has waited too long and Mystery was ready for it, that, and that counter is going to take it. That's the second time in this set that, that Mystery is taking advantage of that active hitbox. Um, again, he, like we have been seeing him, him doing those falling, like fading counters, but he hasn't caught one until just now in a very good moment. It, it is option select, though. It's, it's yeah. option coverage, rather. Absolutely. It, so it's like super important to do, even if you're not landing him like a majority of the time, the fact that you reduce, you're like removing that route for Nano Ash to go creates a lot more opportunity for errors to capitalize on. So I, I, I totally get Mystery's game plan. And no fault to, like, quote unquote, missing all of those. It's, it's setting up a roadblock. You have to expect people to drive around. You are not missing it at all. No. It, 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 exactly what you're saying. It's like, it's like, you can't go here. I am here right now, and I'll take advantage of you going there because your character, unfortunately, you know, has that hitbox that, you know, exactly. it really shouldn't happen. But <laughs> SIV will take that stock. Yeah, SIV is going to take it too. Yeah, it creates its own separate mix-up game where the mystery can bait low, catch high, back here, take an early stock. And I, I think we've already kind of seen something similar to that before. Um, so I, I love the layers of decision-making that these players are really going through right now. Nano Ash, nice punish on the up just to get an up throw. Nair, all right, 37%. Now we got backer trying to get this, uh, this, this edge guard situation. Ledge trapping, rather, is the flamethrower. Uh, Mystery not getting hit by the flamethrower very often, so it's just, again, more of a pressuring tool here from Nano Ash. Oh, the pivot grab is going to whiff. So be tough. a little annoying. So tough because that pivot grab is huge. You know, like, like when you think of, like, like big, strong-armed characters, Bowser's the one that will get you, you know? If yeah. you, he's running away from you and you're chasing, it's like, boom, catch it, got you in your chest. And the backer will take it off stage. Is uh, this is the this game for Nano No, no. he's going to be able to get up here. Nice read. There's the back here. Bowser's too big. A lot of those ledge options are going to be covered naturally. Oh, oh trying to challenge the up That's a huge miss. That's a huge miss in this game. Okay, a little bit of flame breath. We'll put a little bit on there. Up there. Up there. We'll get a little bit oh, more. The, the side, side B. B. That will put a little bit more damage. Lucina is at 89%. Anything can kill right now. The flame, flame breath. We'll put a little bit more on. 108 at this moment. Now, Ooh, trying to go side, side B. B. Air dodge is in. Oh, no. That's not good. throw. He's still in the game. Still in the game. The down is going to Get challenged the no, but he's still alive. alive. He's still alive. He's still a very, very big turtle. But can this turtle live? We'll go up. Is that it? No, not hitting the center plat right there. Will he get something off of this ledge trap? Try to get something off of the neutral Oh, oh still up the up That's not good. The Will he get back? He's no. back to stage right here. Will Missy? Nair, one and two on shield. One seventy four. And that Nair will take that game. Three goes to Mr. E in a very heart stopping. I, uh, yeah. I thought he was going to pull out. You, 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 you know, you know, I thought he was going to be like the mailman and pull it out there. Oh. But not quite just yet happens. Oh. So he takes that and, hey, now the ball is in Nano Ash's corner. Where oh. can he go? Who knows? Okay.
Okay, oh, so, okay. so a little bit of a background information. Nanoash last night at Pro Stall, which was kind of like a pre-local, basically a local, mm. um, took winners, winners finals over Mr. E. Mm. But Mr. E came back and won Ran the it tournament. Back. So wow. Nanoash can Those do it. Grand final two sets, right? Yeah, if you're thinking about the set count right now for the past, you know, two days, it's it's two one in Mr. E's favor. But the fact that Nanoash took a set at all means the possibility is definitely there. Absolutely, with that center plat. Hey, who knows what happens? Hollow Bastion, I love this nature, Bowser. I mean, it just, it, oh! oh! This is some early, as, uh, we're gonna see the rinse and that? repeat here. There's the back air, what's next? The four, oh! Actually gave it up, got a little too greedy there, Mystery Zen. Didn't want to stick with the bread and butter and instead try to opt for a, for a flashier kill option, but it didn't work out. Nanoash gonna be still uh, on his third stock right now. We have the Nair to approach. When in doubt, Nair play. With Lucina against these bigger characters, especially like that we saw, right? The mm -hmm. second hit of Nair taking that kill last time. Uh, okay, Dano Ash going here. Nice side beat to Forda. Oh! There's the second Forda wait, there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, of course he does get back to safe. Oh, smash! smash! All that shield, shield damage. That's so much shield damage, but again, if you're in this there, one attack by Nano Ash. Will someone come out right now? That's a jab, jab, nothing come out, oh, but one a parry from Mr. E. Mr. E coming out. Those you know, sorts that Nair play, as we say, oh. gets Nano Ash off stage. Now, what Nano Ash? Barely in back, but the Nair will Nair not ledge. take it. Bowser is one big, big turtle. That is the spirit <laughs> turtle. You know, um, for not one anime. I don't know what it is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Mm. Gets back to stage in the scenario right here. I, I love how in. at, at ledge, Mystery was just facing backwards, almost mm. expecting a roll to happen. The roll yeah. happened, immediately just grabbed. Like sometimes you just have to doubt. You like no. After all the conditioning, this is the option to come. That was there was a kill potential right there. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you one saw, thousand, you I saw. I saw. I saw. I was like, yeah, oh, you fuck. It almost got me. He it reeled. It would have gotten me, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, it would have <laughs> caught me straight in the face. Not but. quite, not quite. Oh, nice. That up tilt's going to catch you. At that percent, you're definitely going to be gone. Catches those those like kind of low jumps. Cast that like instant jump into fast fall. And of mm. course, catches the roll right there. Great stuff here, Mr. You're going to get nice damage here down through. Oh, the back is going to whiff that rage. is going to hurt just a little bit. And the DI. Great DI from Nano Ash to get a back here of his own. In return, Flayther is going to be countered. Parry into up Whoa, B. the parry on the side B? My goodness, somehow getting out of the... Uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it right now, but what I can describe is Mr. E being on a good Ooh. place in center stage, getting that back air, getting Ash off the stage. That up air, not getting much off of that. Oh, but that forward smash, that's tough. That's air dodge in. Oh, yeah. what, is, oh, what happened? The what happened? Oh my god. We saw the Ninja Turtles right there. Did you see that? Did you see that? All the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Turtles straight up. Leonardo. Leonardo, the blue Ninja Turtle, came out there and saved that Bowser's life, and Nanoash is still living. <laughs> but he does have a mountain climb with 146% yeah. right out the gate. That's tough. It's you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty rough here. Still, Mystery's in a very good position. The fourth throw, the edge guard situation is gonna be tough. If you go almost for vertical recovery, and Lucina has a little more trouble challenging that directly. Does it really matter when you're 167%? And this Nair, great stage positioning. Of course, these up tilts, these forward tilts are gonna start confirming and killing. That yeah. counter is yeah. gonna do it. Finally catching that vertical recovery. Great stuff here, Mystery. An entire stock lead, looking very good to take this next set. 50 one percent string and counting on advantage state here but can we get something out Ooh, right i now? love the movement here we got those wave landings i know i know that for mystery all that movement looks so cool Ooh, but didn't the, do much as we see the one the clank right there a little bit of a combo up trade up there. there yeah not Ooh, oh another land there. just yet stacking on that oh. damage from nano ash but will something come out of it Ooh, what a crisp clean b reverse fire breath right there getting a little bit more damage but uh, you know, we gotta see a kill Another option. Yeah. Center plat, not gonna kill quite yet. You're only oh. at 103, it's not gonna kill. He's working on it. He's working oh, yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. He's, 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 he's definitely digging a little bit, you know? All right, you know? we got it again. Nice. That will be it right I love there. the shimmy into grab, command grab, especially. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. You know, Incineroar players are gonna love doing it all the time. They really can do it, it sometimes, although not as fast, right? Bowser, deceptively fast, man. He is like, so fast. Why is he swimming like this? Well, well, I mean, to be honest, he needs it. He, <laughs> you know, he's one big fat turtle, and, 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 and out of those, this is a video game. The turtles aren't supposed Ooh. to move like that, but see a little bit off that side beat. Uh, I love that spot much. dodge into side beat. Great stuff there from Nano Ash, just recognizing the option that you want to go for. Oh, no jump, no that, jump, though. no jump. The that's up beat mash is not going to be not the air dodge. That's the it, mash. that's it, yeah. That back yeah, air yeah. is going to do it. And Mr. E takes it over Nano Ash. 3 1, cementing himself a spot. Winner side top eight here at Final Judgment. And just like that, Mystery is going on. I have a couple more updates for Cascadia Clash. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Winterside hasn't played yet, but Machu is officially out. He's not oh. in the running anymore. The only way he can get in is the Vodun. Um, uh -huh. Pokepen out. Samuel, er, Samuel doesn't matter. Um, uh -huh. Lumeku's out. Terra is out. Burr actually took it over Terra. Wow. Hey, shout out, Burr. Shout out to Burr. That's my goat. Sparkle is still in the Vodun phase, but he's out. Fizzment, my boy, oh. has beaten him. Solo, loser the Jojo the Hobo, and Nemu. D. Steve from BC is out. So the only wow. players that can make it into Cascadia Clash are 
as follows. Xavier, Biggie Mouth, who went last year through the voting phase, uh -huh. had a little bit of a bad bracket, but is putting in work right now. Pack Street is still in it. Okay. Spade is is looking at a top eight qualifying spot, loser side, and then obviously through winners we have Mystery Soul, Cyan, and Edog. Okay. Okay, I honestly, this this bracket's been a bloodbath, right? I was looking at projected yeah. things just based on seeding right beforehand, mm -hmm. and I'm seeing so many names that are missing here from Top 24 mm -hmm. getting eliminated early on. Like, the upset after upset is insane. That is why we call the PNW the, uh, the Japan of NA. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we have had so many cases where, like, Caden Carson, a guy who didn't even make it into Top 24 being Mutes, you know? Mm. We've had so many cases where we had our okay players being top players. It just yeah. happens so often. And, like, for instance, Shu... 2-2 two, two at one of our brackets. Um, a Chag, right? Yeah. Not even making top 16. Wow. I keep it chill. It happens regularly. At my tournament, right, um, we had Louis Money, 25th. Send, 17th. Base Mage, <laughs> 25th. It's just regular for us. That's insane. The PNW is the Japan of NA for reasons because mm -hmm. your top players, we have so many zoners and so many really quality players. I mean, even that Nano Ash right there, mm -hmm. putting put on work against a really great player like, like Mr. E. Yeah. Only, only seven in Wewa. I, I think the character diversity here is incredible. Yeah. Uh, I think that that plays a big part to kind of, kind of surprise factor mm. that a lot of people have when coming into this region, right? Not entirely sure what to expect. Right? I come from DFW, mm. and so that region uh, also has a little bit of a, a bit of a, a, a like a like a toxic stigma about like the meta of that region, mm -hmm. about just like just like the way that people play their characters, what characters are available, right? A lot of like Rob, Steve, Kazuya, especially running around, and so people are like, it's draining to play in this region. This region is so difficult to play in, right? Mutus came in from Florida, I believe, at the time, and Mutus was like struggling so hard to make their impact. Of yeah. course they. Did. They're a great player, and of course, is, 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 is different. Yeah. Right, right. But like the, the amount of struggle it took, the amount of, of, of like sad tweeting it took to get there, it, it was incredible. Because DFW, it's like it, you have to steal your mental. You have to sit down. You're like, I'm going through the trenches right now. But it sounds like PNW is, is a whole different different level of like, I have no idea what to expect. No. I think you're like, okay, this is gonna be rough. I know it's coming, but yeah. it's gonna be so rough. Yeah. But PNW, it's like, oh, you're just gonna get blown out at 2050. You have no idea what happened. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right, right, you could be anybody. With Texas, I've seen those damn top eights, and I have to say. So many robs, so many causes. I don't know how y'all do it. And like, like, <laughs> shout out to Texas, man. I don't know how y'all like say, you know what? I'm gonna go go O2 against a Rob and a Kazia, yeah. who's like, who's like not even today. PR. You, yeah. you know, just just down tilt the whole time and let you win God fits. Not really the funnest, but this is actually a classic. Um, the former number one um, in Wewa, Mystery Soul, the Insin, probably the second best in NA, um, and then the best duck hunt in the world, Embo Z. Embo Z is currently number. I believe two in Wewa, I believe, two or three, something mm -hmm. like that. Mystery Soul, um, semi-retired, um, went unranked for a little bit, but obviously he's a killer, has has almost been, has, has I think like three times almost gotten into Cascadia. This is his last wow. chance, man. We got to see it happen. We got to see it happen. Let's see if Mystery Soul can finally make the run, but right now MOZ is making it very hard for him as he's an entire stock behind. Looking to get a, a loop here as well. MOZ keeping it in a row. I mean, I think if I just think about kind of the theory of what this matchup would be like, I, I'm not too surprised on what I'm seeing in terms of execution, right? Absolutely MOZ not. Duck Hunt's going to be super slippery, trying to use so much stage positioning and use all these setup items that they have, right? Can you have Gunner, you have mm. Frisbee, and just keep it in right? because Incineroar's entire game plan is exactly that get in your face land a command grab land revenge and, and blow you up blow you up he is an explosive little fire kitty like if he gets his little claws in you guess what that kitty can't go oh. burn but the dog can go bow wow wow with the down air my goodness <laughs> taking that stock and just like that lapping him in the lead but as you can see right here mr salt is getting a little bit more jab jab gain him off stage the can protection not gonna Get Make it back. Oh, nice spot touch on the grab as well. It's Cinderor, a infamous grappler uh, with very flashy grabs as well as the command grab. Everything being enhanced with revenge as well. So definitely staying aware of the possibility of, again, just randomly throwing away um, good distance here being created by Embozy. Honestly, this is a, your average dog and cat interaction, I'm feeling like. I'm not trying to throw shade on the uh, the natural evolutionary tree, but like yeah. this is this is kind of what I'm seeing right now. I think Duck Hunt's doing just, uh, just a good job of living up to, to his legacy and his lineage. This is Tom and Jerry, but without, you know, Jerry being there and that big old <laughs> bulldog just bullying him around. Ooh. And game one looks, wow, it was yeah. commanding by MboZ. That's why he was the one to first qualify for Kansas City Clash at Laker Rage in February. So, long circuit, but he's been here the whole time, baby. Duck Hunt, like, it, it's just tough because if you are a slow, lumbering, big, heavy grappler, Getting in is tough, you know. No. You know you can, but the door that opens shuts very quickly. Very quickly, yeah. yeah. 
and you're getting, you know, absolutely obliterated by a ton of little spiky needles thrown at you constantly, hindering your progress to try and find your way in, but man, it is a tough. Mystery Soul is still here, only down a game, and again, has a legacy to live up to. Definitely has the potential to make something big happen here. Ooh, whiffing two of these Lariats, though, MOZ. Uh, no stranger to, to capitalizing Lando's punishes almost immediately. I love these follow-ups with the, the cannon to up air as well. This shield pressure is impeccable. He can't even land. He's like, been stuck on the top two platforms of Small Battlefield almost this entire game, exactly. and that's 108%. All it takes is can up air. That's all it took. There's, there's there's not much this like KK can really do, you know? Um, like like it, it just the options Oh my god Duck's disposal what is, a is, doubt is, tilt. It is the opposite of what what like Ensign does. The play gets it's just hard. Again, the revenge when you get in, you pile on the damage, but with Oh, oh that's not gonna Just the tip of the that rage. was twenty three percent? Are you kidding me? That's all it needs to be sometimes, man. Revenge is me. crazy. Literally 23 to meet him straight out the <laughs> gate with that side beat, and that takes the stock. I mean, again, like like what we see out of this matchup is, hey, domination from you know like all these 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 weird projectiles and these and these awkward keep your space, stuff. whittle them down. Keep, whatever. Right? What does it matter if I get in and I blow you up? Yeah, that that's again, that's all it needs to be, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really about Mystery Soul finding those opportunities, and right now Ember not even letting him chill. He can't keep it off on any of these platforms. He's just getting hit off immediately. Tries to nice bait on the revenge mm -hmm. and wait out the punish too. Still able to land, challenging that up air with an air of his own. Caught by dash attack, 167% here. Tries to upbeat to make it bad. Is caught by the can, and then of course the duck hunt waiting on landing. The gunman wow. is gonna take. It. Where could you have gone? Frisbee, Gunman, Ken, all oh, their steady of catching your jump, your rolls, your getup attacks. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna do? Dead. Oh, the Alola Whip is here! Whoa! And the whoa, get three whoa. What's going on, the man? The Ken can help that duck hunt out, my goodness. Like, turn that 88% into a you're at zero now. You know, <laughs> not really heal when the stock's taken away, but the Darkest Lair will take a little bit more damage on to this. Oh, throws him off stage. Not uh, not really the best place that you want to be if you're in Sin. Let's see how we can get out. Can he get around yeah, this the, the big thing here is the problem is you're getting ledge trapped. You're not going to see Duck Hunt go too deep too often. We did see a crazy downer spike you know, of course, earlier. Of course. But that's not necessarily, you know, Duck Hunt's MO. It's more about, like, how are we going to get up? You're going to get hit by something. It's the I ledge traps. Situation. It's yeah. the ledge traps because whenever you, like, like, Again, lumbering big body against all these traps. Hey, mm -hmm. you want to jump? I have an answer to that. You want to roll? I'm right here. Yeah. If you want to get up? Guess what? My can's right there and you yeah. explode. My gunman's right there. Like, there's so much there. There's so much there. It's hard to get in. Ooh, that frisbee Keep might do close. a little bit more. Frisbee up there. Now we're throwing the can off. We're still going to see Mr. So able to make it back. Here's the last trap again. Jump? What are you going to do? He's going to wait and for a tilt. But Mr. So is going to find the way back to center stage. That's so scared. He's running away. He's approaching with this can. He's wait, 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 93%. And that's just like that, it. the side B takes that game, and we're now game three all tied up, baby. Wow, there you go. Mystery Soul taking the second game with a perfectly timed Alolan Whip right there, armoring through everything. The amount of patience that you have to have as Mystery Soul to just wait for that opening to get in is, is just impeccable. You need to somehow find it, and it, it's just incredible to watch him just work, you know? Yeah, you see him go, oh, oh cool, you threw out that. I'm going to get through that with a side beat. Just like that, you're dying very, very quickly. It, it, it's just cool to see that. We call ourselves the artist. He was out there cooking up a Mario Maker level. Exactly. We're seeing the kitchen come out to play, throwing everything that everything that MOZ has. He's just throwing at him. And guess what? That 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 chef, kind of the master of his tools, so he can catch <laughs> it whenever he wants to. That's right. There you go. Right. Frisbee four tilt can up air string. Eighty percent. Fifteen seconds in. There you go. There you go. A simple setup. But it's all about the execution, all about recognizing the situations. And of course, uh, for Mystery Soul, it's all about how can I uh, mitigate this and also apply my own damage. And it's uh, it's it's looking rough. Nice spot dodge, Darkest Lariat. Now what's off is going to oh, be no He's tech. challenging him. No tech right there. Quick zero death coming out from Mystery Soul. Force of Amber Z, no tech happens. And now you're down Ooh. after being up so hard. And I have to say, hey, it's tough, oh, but... Oh, they trade there on the up beat. It's only been 16% advantage there. Amber Z turned that around real quick, thankfully to such a great lead that he built for himself beforehand uh, in the, on the previous stock. So, yeah, we're about even here. And it's, again, about Mystery Soul fighting their way in. Great dash back to whip punish the Alolan whip right there. Wow, I love the spot dodge on the gunman, but that slowed him down where he wasn't able to approach and ran straight into a frisbee. He's going to get back. The stage going to be hard, but luckily getting back with that... Up. I thought he was screwed. I'm not gonna lie. I thought the gunman <laughs> was gonna get him out the air. Sniper 
somehow, but then they're getting him off stage. Oh, luckily, I, I, I think goes straight back to stage from MOZ. One thing that Mystery Soul like there. is doing a little bit better right now is that it doesn't matter what you're throwing at him, he's going to challenge it now. Absolutely. He's more willing to challenge it. Gunman, he's narrowing through it, right? Frisbee can, he's just going to try and narrow through. Frisbee is kind of hard to challenge, but everything else, right, the, the can, the gunman, he's trying mm -hmm. to go for. And of course, this offstage gameplay as well, we see him go deep for that nair, and you know, happen to capitalize off MOZ to miss an attack, he got a stock off it. So I like this aggressive play here for Mystery Soul, and I, I hope it kind of works out for him a little better. Um, it's it's oh! to be seen. Oh, he, he fought his way in, nope. but the Alola Whip is going to miss. Gunman's going to come up and recreate this space. The up air is not letting him land. Embo Z is not letting him land. Absolutely. I mean, that's what you got to do. Hey, keep on standing oh. up, and the Nair will take that. And just like that, hey, again, 75, that is that is more than enough percentage to get a kill. Oh, and let, oh, oh, he, he dropped it. it. No way he meant to do that. But now we're going to get that will right. not be a stock. No revenge. No. no revenge right here. Right, Fresh stock. Didn't have a lot of time to stack up on, on revenge stack. Oh, but deep enough for the up is actually, I think it might be a little greedy to commit to the can yeah. and then go for the up B. I was just a little bit greedy. It didn't happen to work out there. That's tough to see. But I mean, hey, that keeps Mystery Soul in the game. And MBZ is still going to fight for their life right now. Ooh, back here on the can. We'll do a little bit more off stage. Not a good place if you oh, want nice to be Mystery Soul. <laughs> not good. Luckily, game a re grab right there. Same off stage. The can is that going to protect them? Luckily, fade oh. off of the can. But the can saves them off of that side V. Oh, look, the air dodging through the... And the darkest layer is out. Oh, he went for a downer right there. Great can coverage there for MOZ. That could have been the end of this game if he wasn't ready for it. Oh, the hard commit up smash. Only a forward tail punish here from MOZ. Now we got Can and Gunman right back on deck. Look at the shield pressure. Again, Mystery Soul trying to play against the Mario Maker level. He's hitting retry oh, a couple oh, times. Oh, it's a little oh, tough here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Come oh, on. Up up. I don't want to be here. But luckily okay. getting back to the stage. Jump getting back. back to the re-grab with the side B. Something going to happen right here. Dash Throw. attack. Luckily not getting I think he's that. looking for the Alola Whip very soon. Oh, the up smash. The Rob smash. Not a Throwing crazy punish here for MBOZ, though. There is the Frisbee. It's back to less trap situation. This is so scary. The down throw. Oh, watch out for that up air. That up air could do it at any time. Getting that can away from me. I don't want those beans, good sir. I'm oh. not hungry enough for that. Setting them off, losing that air dodge. It's Barely so deep, that with the can. And the BF2 will not do it quite just yet. He's at 75%. A little bit more. The can coming back. Oh! That's going to kill, unfortunately. No way. Unfortunately for Mystery Soul, the can hits him in the chest. Blows him up at 170. And Embozy steals that game with that can of beans. Oh, this motherfucker is eating beans. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And just like that, MboZ has the counter pick advantage going into game four. There wasn't even a kill spark on that one. Was no that one even saw a kill? that coming. I didn't. I know I did. I, 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 like, I got hit 100%. No, 100 absolutely. I get hit by that. Yo, well, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm going back to DD. I'm done. I'm Get me out I'm of here. Get Get me out. Out. <laughs> yeah. Why am I even in winners? Yeah. But but okay. Mystery So, a legend of his times, right? Been here for a super long time, had the number one spot. Means that he's no stranger to having to deal with very unfortunate mental mishaps sometimes. But that's what you do when you're the best. You get up, you go right back at it again. You exactly. have to bash your head against that wall 50 times, but eventually it might break. And at the 51st time, your head feels a little bit funny and you want to do it again. It just feels better to keep on pushing and pushing on. But MOZ kept on pushing with that up air, unfortunately dropping that from the center. And the revenge! Ooh, but the up air. Baiting out the revenge follow up anyway with that up smash. He's got all these options covered. And it's right back to under 30 seconds. A, a, a terrible situation for Mr. Sullivan, to be completely honest. Almost 100 percent deficit here. Still not unkillable, though. One Alolan whip will definitely do it. Revenge stacks are on the table. Oh, the forward, so he's looking for that tipper hitbox. Oh, no. Try to challenge the can right there. I like the spirit. A little unfortunate on the spacing and timing on that one. And that is going to take a stock here. Ambos, he's got a solid lead. But nothing that Mystery Soul can't fix with a couple of hits right here. Trying to a go with oh, oh, the can, can saves gets him, him out. Luckily, the frame two can will get him out of that. It, it, it feels like every single time there's like something to save Embo Z at the last bit. That's what's so smart about Embo Z. Smart, like he's one of the smartest like like players I've ever seen in Western Washington. Uh -huh. He's like, okay, you're going at me. Guess what? I have a frame two option that will save me. I might take a little damage, but guess what? I'm basically snake. But this time <laughs> I'm a dog instead of a reptile. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, that's right. Either way, you gotta that's fear good. the man across the stage, but nice, the up throw is finally gonna take it. 80% deficit here for Mystery Soul. Playable, but rough. Embozy sitting on his, uh, you know, this game to win, right? Mm -hmm. This set's gonna be his if he just takes these next two next two stocks, and he's, he's already well positioned to take this, this first one. 
So uh, let's see if Mystery Soul can, can turn things around, get a little bit uh, of a ball rolling right here. I mean, Ooh, again, committing to that downer. Gets a forward air, too, for a bit of chip damage. Nice nair to catch the landing. What's the ledge get up? Going to be the back air. Keep him at ledge. Oh, the can covers it. Nice air dodge to find your way back in from Mbo Z. Gunman is down. It's going to whip. We do have can to worry about. And first B as well. The challenge. He ran his way in. Oh, the, the Gunman. The good man saves him, and the up smash will get him a little bit of a greedy little dash attack. I, I like the adaptation yeah. for MOZ there, where a lot of times when it seemed like Mystery Soul went for a Hail Mary like commitment option, it seemed like we're getting a very light punish for MOZ, right? A yeah. forward tilt, maybe an up tilt, that kind of thing. But finally, commits that up smash knowing that dash attack was going to be it is, punishable. It is the gradual game that MOZ is playing, but not that gradual. Was that backer almost getting killed? Oh, and that can snipe. will not do it quite as yet, oh, but the up air will do it. That's going to take it. That will be. MOZ takes it. Another qualified player going into the winner's side. Now, this is kind of a weird scenario, right? Because right now what we're seeing is all these players going into losers' nights, right? Uh -huh. um, that's two more players. So basically, if any one of these players who are not qualified wins out of winner's side, it's almost guaranteed that they have a very good shot of getting into the mansion next week. But with with the only players that, that are not... Um, that are qualified so far that is in losers is George of the Hobo. That's the okay. only one. Everyone else has a chance, so we could be seeing a tiebreaker go down later in the match, but we're not mm. going to... It, 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 we're not going to see that quite just yet. Yeah. We want to talk about this match. We got we got a lot of before, you know, where we're getting I'm into that I'm just excited, here. man. Yeah. I feel so excited. I'm a director of the project, and it just feels so good to talk about it. No, of course. <laughs> yeah. It's a 100%. Like, mad respect for you to running an invitation here with PNW Region. I'm super, super happy to see mm. we got something big going on here. Uh, of course, Cascade Clash is next week, but mm. we've got to talk about Embo Z's incredible can snipes. Whether they were known or not, intentional or not, the can placement was the huge game changer here across and the And his usage in defense was impeccable. If, if, if if MOZ saw some type of side be coming his way, throwing out a can very quickly, the frame two option comes out and saves his life multiple yeah. times. If you do it enough, that will change what the plot of the Smash will be. And just like that, we see another game for go to the all qualified player. And now we're going to see another one happening. Cyan, unranked in Wewa, playing against JDB, the bona fide best Pac Man in NA. And <laughs> it's J, the D, and the V. He's our hero, man. So it, it, it it's so tough to root against this guy. Yeah. Um, he's been number one for a while. Um, for Already qualified, too, of course. Uh, he was auto. Oh, auto. Okay, okay. Yeah, he was an auto invite. Um, and, and just these stories out of like JDV's side, like he has been number or er, number one for like three straight like like PR seasons. Um, he has gotten second at every regional for like two years in a row, and then finally this year going on a tear at almost at, at like four qualifiers winning them, winning four qualifiers. And he's, he's already qualified. He's on a beginning. roll. <laughs> he's on a roll, man. Oh. Like 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 he's the bread, the butter, the whole damn thing, you know. Um, four course meal right there. But can Cyan, the kind of like the 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 unknown, the the. The question mark, can he pull it off against the number one in Wewa? Let's see right now, yeah. goes Palutena and Pac-Man. Let's see what happens combo. Right, yeah, Palutena, fundamentally solid character. Here we're starting off on PS2. Pac-Man, one of those those kind of characters on the rise these past couple years. I feel like early ultimate written off a little bit as kind of this weird gimmicky character you're not going to see a whole lot of. But as the years have gone on, if, if more players have gone to experiment with how this character can and does work, uh, we've been seeing so many incredible Pac-Man results all around the world. So I'm super happy to see JDB uh, keeping up with the representation and here being the, the hero of Washington. But we're going to have uh, Sion go start off with a very solid lead here so far. Uh, keeping JDV away, and even though he's letting him build up the neutral, we got Galaga on deck, potentially Bell and Key as well. Look at that shield pressure. That is tough. I don't think uh, the Sia is too worried, right? You're going to have the shield, you have that dash attack, and backering from Palutena, as well as these, these lasting hitbox and things like down to a four tilt, that I feel like, you know, Sia's not that afraid. Uh, no, and no. I don't think you should be if you're a Palutena up against Pac Man. But. Absolutely not. I mean, I mean, his uses of pressure, like, like okay, uh, that Hydrant can't. Okay, again, this so There's so many counters. That Palu has against Pac-Man, you know? Uh -huh. You have flaming, you have your your flight, you just have it all. And not only that, but you have oh, quick buttons, no. but the bell will take that stock, and guess what the bell told? Sometimes just run straight into the bell, that stun is gonna hurt so much. See, there's, again, layered mix-ups, right? Pac-Man mm. is a professional, JDV is a professional layered mix-up inducer. And, and, and sometimes you, gotta, you start level one. 
No. Run at them, throw the bell. That's it. Level one. Right? Run That's at them, do. forward smash. Right? Again. Then you start going for the baits. Then you start building up. Okay, now I'm bouncing this off here, going for the re-grab, mm -hmm. going for the, the, the top, and eventually you never had to worry about the bell to begin with. He was in your yeah. face the whole time. The Hydro is right there. The setup is over for you. And not only that, but Pac-Man has all of it. Like, like, it just can throw hands, you know. You know mm -hmm. this little guy and his gloves. Like those aren't just normal gloves; those are boxing gloves. Yeah, he, he throws. Can box. The, he throws the bows, you know. Oh. If 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 he gets in your face, you're taking a lot of damage. And like with all Ooh. this fruit use, hey, it just gets on and on and on. Oh, luckily that was a really good um uh, backstage option with that uppy from Cyan finally getting back because obviously if he rolled in and and went high, that would have been dead off of the upstage. But now back into it. Another scenario where hands are being thrown. Oh, oh that no. is a the bad explosive, explosive flame. flame. It's too far. It's too far. And yeah, it's going to be a very easy forward smash punish for JDV. I, I love the Galaga setups more than anything else. Watching the Galaga Nair chain over and over again. I'll never get sick and tired of it. It looks beautiful every time. Fire engine here set up for Ledtrap. Tries to go for a grab. It's going to whiff. You're far. You're safe. No worries. Explosive flame is something you do have to keep your eyes on it for JDV. But again, I don't think JDV is too worried either. It's more about Scion trying to find a way to confirm a, a kill here because a lot of the setups that Palatine might have off throws or off ledge drop and stuff, it's going to be a little harder to land against a, a player and uh, like JDV and a character like, like Pac-Man, especially at this percent. So it's a lot more about those Hail Mary hard reads. Can I land the move I need to land? Which is uh, very hard to do against such a slippery character like Pac-Man, meaning that Syad is actually fairly well positioned to get three stock by JDV right here. What a parry the into back, back throw. The throw. Key. Look at that. Oh Ooh. my god. Try to cast a teleport yeah, very early yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, one of those things that he can actually re-grab that key and do some nasty setups. Key is the most dangerous when it's in your hand. It's hard to get there, you know? You have to do the B-Rust into the stage and somehow tech it, and oh, that's going to be it right there. Oh, the again. But, again, not going to die quite just yet. Again, cross stage with the F-Smash, but that's going to do it. The Melon will take it, and just like that, JDB looks in command. I mean, you know, oh. number one, we are best, and then it, I'm, I'm just game, makes sense. No surprise, right? No surprise, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Not and a three-stock coming out from JDB's side, though. No. Right? We did see some signs of life from Sign though, to pick up at least one kill there. Mm. Uh, but again, it's, like, it's all about those Hail Mary moves. Uh, it's it's it, This is a very big pace control match, right? We've seen past two steps, or, or past two matches or sets we saw, right? Mm. We're very pace breaker oriented. Exactly. Right? We had Bowser and Incineroar to break momentum, mm. right? They're all about, I just need one or two things. Mm. I win, right? But these two characters, they're, they're playing the more like, okay, we need momentum to push forward. Now I'm pulling back, right? Okay, I got a lot of good setups, a lot of good advantage. Stay here with explosive play. My nares, my nair planning, right? Okay, I gotta pull back. He's got hydro on that kind of thing. It's a lot more of a give and take. And if you're no longer giving damage, you're only definitely gonna be taking damage. Oh, and, absolutely. And that's where that's where Cyan was struggling a little bit uh, up against JDB and especially the Galaga setups. But I mean, who who can play him, right? Everyone's Nothing. gonna struggle against that. This is so much that you can throw at you. You, you oh. know, it, it, it's not the just, apple. It, it's everything and the kitchen sink and more. You know, he's yeah. throwing the soap, the bars, the Harry, shampoo. the get up attack, like. Just crack. I, I was watching oh. JDP. Oh my goodness! I was watching JDP play up against Samuel earlier mm -hmm. today, and it felt like there's there's like multiple stocks of almost perfect execution, where yeah. it's just anti-airing everything, parrying everything, narrowing out of shield on not the first or second jab on shield, but the third or fourth. Mm -hmm. Right? His that, checks, everything was perfect. Right his there. checks are just so good. I mean, you see him staying on or like like staying on ledge a little bit too long, a little poke. That's 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 an F throw. It's like and and he never like 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 messes up the angles. It's everything. And the melon right there again. The melon, it, 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 it doesn't have much use, you know? You throw it when you are calling something out hard, and it, it, it just feels like JDB is in Cyan's head just so much. So yeah. much. Oh, oh, what a spike. As I say that, Cyan doing Pushed a little bit of right back in the game, yeah. Absolutely with that down smash. Again, a lot of time, or er, down air. Uh, uh, like a lot of times when I see a spike like that, I go, okay, Pac-Man, get out. But luckily, he was at a high enough uh, Percentage, yeah. Percentage Not enough time yeah, to, yeah. or yeah, I guess stuck in hits not for too long and too exactly. fast. Yeah. So you're you're going down, but yeah, again, JDB not 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 bothered. It happens, things happen. Right? We saw Ambo Z, of course, uh, got a little good with with the uh, the can and then with the uppy and then died. Right? Mm -hmm. It happens, right? So the best of us do make those basic mistakes. It's again, it's all about not getting in your own head mm -hmm. and playing the game like you always have. Exactly. That's that's basically like what you do. Hey. Hey, no matter what happens, you have to stay in and you have to have your mentally prepared to play against a character like Pac-Man and and and, and, and plays like JDB. It is the timeout meta when it, when JDB is like, okay, I will engage with you when I want to, you know. Mm -hmm. But again, like, otherwise, let I me get my key. Let me get my my bell. You let know, me get my key. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can read the bells like 
whenever I want oh, to. Oh, wow. Keep the Hydra bouncing. Dribble like a basketball. Eventually let it just kind of tip over the stage as an edge of the stage. And Palutena is going to have to hold that. That's one big ass yo yo, man. They falling are. off the stage and, and, <laughs> and taking a little bit off of that. Scary thing right there. And the one, two, three, putting a little bit more of that damage on. But Cyan gets right back in with a Nair. But JDB Ooh. is. I thought he was going to get more off that, but nothing coming out. No need. Sometimes you know. there's, no, there's no need. It doesn't yeah. happen. It doesn't happen. You don't have to overextend. You don't have to put yourself in a bad spot. JDV, again, doing such a phenomenal job of staying underneath the auto reticle, of being able to zone out with neutral B. Whatever option it may throw out, JDV has a use for all of them. Great wow. grab here. Up throw. Trying to get some up air juggles, maybe. He's got over a percent here, in uh, over a stock lead, rather, a, a percent lap. It's uh, very, very rough for Cyan right now. Again, more signs of life this game. Nice parry, though, because JDV's always got those down lot. Ooh, what's the ledge gonna be? You have to hold the Hydra damage and the four tilt kicks too. I love the space on four tilt. Run, poke. With oh four my tilt. God! Yeah. Burying that nair, nasty. It's like every single time that like, like, Cyan like finds some way to get in. It's a parry into a punish, you know, or like just, just parrying the more neutral. It, it wow. feels like the slow chip way that JDB plays. It, 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 it's just. Tough to get it, especially like Science is like not having any. Oh no, any. the re grab. And yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Oh, he's my having so much goodness. trouble getting in. It, it, it's just hard, just like that. Science down two games, and it's not looking good for him, as you see. Palm in face, just a little bit there. But hey, center yourself, focus. Just like your Wii Fit, and just get back uh -huh. in this game. Hey, deep breathing, it's baby. It's not over until until the TL says to get off the setup. Yeah, it's not over until you go and say, yeah. 3-0 is close, though. You know, you got to... 3-0, but it was close. It was I took close. some socks. I took some socks. Yeah. There you go. There you go, right? Until it's marked on that star.gg page, you're in the game. You're in the game. And I do have one update right now. Um, there is no more BC players in contention for, for it. So BC is out. We had a little bit of a story where BC has, has taken every single qualifying spot that they went to. Not the case this time. Also, Iwa completely out. See, um, Peace is also out at this moment. So Ooh. now it's only Oregon and Weewa is in contention at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it, but yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, we're getting back into this right yeah, now. Smashville. Back in the game. Yeah, Smashville here. Pretty even percent too. I think both these characters don't mind the stage. Uh, Palutena's going to like it a lot here with this, with the Nair planing. Uh, as, as always, uh, on the table, especially with platforms around. But yeah, nice dash attack here, trying to cover center stage, maybe catch some answer options. But JDB and Pac-Man always got enough ability to drift away, get back to the edge of stage, and charge right back up. Had Galaga on deck. Great reflector on the Hydra, but JDB doesn't care because he's got the parry. And we're, uh, we're we're keeping it moving, we're trying to catch him on this upper platform. Not quite. We got we got some dash dancing going on here for Sion. Great positioning. Again, relatively even. Charging up smash, trying to use that lasting hitbox. Not enough time to punish there though. Palutena smash attacks right deceptively. They seem like such hard commitments. You think they'd be a little more laggy than they are, but sometimes you see Palutena players go for the bait there, especially on forward smash. Uh, so JDB was not able to land the punish there with that forward smash, but we're we're keeping it. We're keeping it alive. Still relatively even. Genevieve's got this a little bit of a lead. Looking to take this next stock. The cherries are going deep, but we're going to get an upbeat to go back. Wow, that was almost an upbeat in, in place right there. A grab from JDB for the back throw. Build up some damage on Hydra. The pressure is oh, there. Oh, the apple not going to kill quite just yet. You're at a percentage that, that, that I would consider you dead, but not quite just yet. The dash stack is going to send him straight off stage. Will he get much? Oh, the Ooh. slow roller. Not going to get him quite just yet. And the, apple, the apple. apple. Oh, almost getting that upper. That could have been a nice kill Nice montage Very in the quick. And the F tilt will take that and just like that, hey, we're back into it right now. It's always, it's super important to, to kind of have that like, when is my opponent going to go for the, the Hail Mary option? Mm -hmm. When is it going to happen, right? When are they going to go commit to this kill and how can I capitalize off that? And that, that especially the high percent game is such a, such a scary thing to have to deal with. And now JDB still has to deal with it right up here at 130%. But you can start playing the mind games a little bit be like, okay, my opponent's going to greed because they don't want me to build up, you know, extra credit here. And because of that, I can punish off the mistakes even harder and, and build a really strong and solid lead. And I think that's exactly what JDB is going to be shooting for. Nice air dodge through the explosive flame. Great forward air on that teleport. Not oh. enough to kill by any means. And oh. that, that's a back throw. That's going to do it. a clutch roll behind in the back air. Or back throw, I should right. say. Um, ties it straight up. Pac-Man with grab. Throw. Super laggy. Super laggy. So laggy. But again, one of the best grabs in the game. You know, <laughs> There's lag, but it's hard to punish. You know, If yeah. you try to get in when it's, or like when it's retracted, the active it's hitbox active. is still there. Right? It's, that's the scary part. It, it's so, it's so annoying. I mean, it's so good, you know? <laughs> such a good grab. I love it so much. I'm um, getting that hydrant off and trying to get a little bit more off of the up air scenario, but nothing much. Did we go back to the ledge right there? 
No. Okay. Oh, we're, we're playing footsies. Uh, see, this scramble yeah. situations are really when you realize, are people autopiloting or are they actually playing the game? Mm. And I think right here is when they were both thinking about what options am I going to go for? What is going on here? And they uh, they were able to just kind of get out and reset, go back to neutral. Back throw here coming out from JDV. Okay, Nair is not going to catch just this time. Teleports here from Sion, try to land safely. JDV is controlling center stage so well. Regrab on the bell. The bell? The bell. It can the bell? Two That's frame. it. That's and it right the there. That's the scoop into the forward smash to the bell is ridiculous. Oh the my goodness. You can just leave it there to two frames you. JDV can wait out when you're actually going to set five forward smashes a combo. Kills you off ledge at like 75. It's, it's crazy. It's so scary. I mean, bell in hand is one of the scary scenarios. If you have to play against Pac-Man, it's like, okay, he can just dance around you. And guess what? If he gets in, that stock doesn't yep. matter. And guess what? There's not that much and lag. Guess what? He's so safe and it's so <laughs> tough to try to go back to stage. Guess what? It's on the ledge and it will hit you at any moment. Now back into it. Nair. Gonna get much off of there. Not quite just yet, but the Hydrant is coming out to play. Throws it off. I don't want the Hydrant there. Uh -huh. Not that water. I don't get care how hard it is. Get it out of here. Guess what? It's a fire lane that does not need to be there. <laughs> we have teleport back to ledge. Uh, downward angle for it, so is it going to two frame this time around? But JDB is still not letting Sion return to center stage. The stage control has been impeccable on JDB so far. Sion has barely been able to get on stage and recover finally a Hail Mary dash attack to recover Ooh. some sense of advantage for Sion, but immediately take it away from a nair from JDB. But he's going to whiff a throw, get back here, punish to the oh, face into it. What? The side what? B is not going to make it to ledge. Opt to not press up the I, 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 I have just no idea. Died? That's a mind game. You know it's a mind game. Maybe, Maybe, honesty, yeah. Maybe it's to oh, give oh, oh, a spark oh, oh. of Bill a hand, Bill in hand, Bill hand is gonna do something oh what the what Belly the hell him? are they here <laughs> yeah, that's really funny my bad my bad <laughs> no then where are they oh what are these buttons is the controller off i don't know what's going on right here are we gonna the F -smash? Throw? what is going on here very weird because like it's we see maybe a random there's, there's a bit of hope here from science and i'm not sure what's going on with jdv but um you know jdv still has a lot more mistakes to make before this ends up really being a problem so let's see if jdv can close it out i do believe bell is in hand yet again What's the get up option? Gonna be jumped, gonna get caught by the Nair. All right, so Sion's gonna keep their, their <gasps> positioning. But what's next? Oh, he's gonna give it up. We have center stage here. Nice grab here from JDB. He's gonna oh, parry. What a double parry with that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. The That's hydrate. scary. That's scary. Good Going up and then F-Tilt. Not gonna take it quite just yet. The, the hydrant right there. Huh? He'll do something. Gonna hit it away. There's an off stage and the, the apple, apple will do it. Sends him straight up. And JDB takes it over Sion. 3-0. And now winner side topic. An apple a day will take your stock away, and just like that, JDB goes on with a 3-0 lead. Um, absolute domination from JDB. I mean, kind of expected, you know, number one in in Western Washington, perfecting mm -hmm. timeout method. I mean, I mean, it like I was gonna say it was gonna happen, but like again, it's kind of hard for Cyan when you're playing against a character right. like but that. But massive shout outs to Cyan for getting closer every game. Exactly. Literally he was every game, you know, he was learning on the mm. fly, he was adapting on the fly. How am I challenging his Pac-Man tools? How can I utilize my active hitboxes in a more efficient manner? What are the things that Pac-Man can do around for Palatin? And how can I drift around them, right? The teleport mind games their ledge after getting punished so heavily in those first first two games, uh, especially, right? I love to see his adaptations from Cyan's and I, I gotta say massive, massive shout outs for getting closer and closer, stock by stock, every game. Keep up the grind, Cyan. I cannot wait to see more of what you got to offer. But yes, of course, congratulations here to JDV, sitting nice and pretty on winner's side of uh, top eight. Of course, again, unsurprising, the seeds have dictated it so, rather have predicted it so. And we have, of course, JDV living up to his seed, because why would he not? Right? Exactly. That's JDV what he's going to do. rarely loses. But we do have one more. Um, that's Mr. E, MBOZ, and JDV. But we do have one more. Spade beating Mystery Sold again in the top eight. Loser's side. Now, oh. that just happened and was just happened. So you don't see it, but this is true. That is your Oregon hero. If you we want Oregon it. to get in right now, <laughs> right there. And then Biggie Mouth, JoJo is waiting, and Nanoash, and Burr. Burr is still in it. I mean, hey, I didn't imagine it, but Burr, hey, it might be hot in here, but... Feel a little chilly when Burr's there. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, Burr, one of our one of our Texas goats. You know, he's always got random standout performances at pretty much any big event that he mm. ends up going to. He's definitely made a name for himself over the years. Uh, worked with Tony Locator for so long. I believe T Lock is still part of his tag. Yeah, it is T Lock. There T -Lock, it is. Yep. Tony Locator, Burr. You know, great uh, TO and organizing mm. uh, group that we got over there in the DFW region. They handle so much. Uh, mm. You know, you ever heard of Low Tier, Lost Tech, and Low Tide City? All of them by T Lock mm. uh, across the state. So great stuff. And of course, Burr helped. You know, been around a figurehead for the community really over there being a TO competitor, commentator too. He steps on the mic sometimes and he's just, he's just been all around. So I mm. was more than surprised to see Burr over here in Seattle uh, so far away from Texas. Yeah. I know that he traveled. I know he drove up to you know, things like Oklahoma, Louisiana, whatnot. Mm. Right, but I but had this no is, this idea he'd be over here. This is cross the country and, and, yeah. and kind of just what a 
what a cool coincidence to see a mm -hmm. uh, 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 a Texas like like man coming to Wewa and finally be like, ah, oh, getting me new friends. It's like, Burr, what the? So yeah. What are you doing here, man? Yeah, I, I was straight up like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm just yeah. a friend in town. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to go play some Smash Bros. And yeah, it sure. also doesn't help that a lot of DFW likes to uh, to ban Kazuya. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the fact that he can, can come out here and be a little more free is, is also very nice. But we're going to be jumping into our next winner's quarter set here. Love the Tekken music going on in the background. Abyss of Time. Great song here from Tekken Tag 2. We got Ludo versus Dark. Eddie over here. Mario versus Bayonetta. And Small battlefield. Of course, and Dark Eddy, um, or formerly known as E Dog, but you know, changed the name mm -hmm. a lot because why not mess with the TOs? Yeah. Um, yeah. Why I'm not breaking seating. It's, <laughs> it, it's so fun. But um, Dark Eddy being a huge, huge, like, like kind of a hidden boss, um, Bellingham, Bayonetta, um, one of uh -huh. the best in Bellingham, never making. And oh. of course, I was going to get to that, you know? Okay, okay. Um, he did, um, he won the. <laughs> <laughs> he won um, the the PNW Arcadian over players such as Supergirl and other good players, and now is an HM in West Washington. But Ludo, the scoops from Ludo, no slouch himself. No, back in blood, Ludo again, one of the top seeds here. This tournament projected to do extremely well. Also, already qualified uh, for Cascadia Clash. So again, has a lot to live up to, and I think he's doing just fine so far. Bandit is such a scary character again. Come from a region like DFW myself, we have Lima over there, which is you know one of the best players. We know around. who Lima. Yeah. We know who Lima is. <laughs> Trust so me. I've I seen follow Deathbane. I know about Lima. You know? I've, I've seen countless hours of Bayonetta footage and gameplay. So I, and of course, you know, we've also seen seen how Bayonetta has ravaged legacy beforehand. But like, I, I'm always, always aware of what Bayonetta can and will do. You have to watch out for these afterburner kicks. You have to watch from these scoops. Could it be any of their tilt attacks? Could it be the rising, uh, the falling up air, the falling nair, just those random back kicks for kill mm -hmm. confirms, the up tilt reverse bear, anything. Which time on top of it all, Bayonetta is still a crazy character. And there's a reason why you gotta be afraid of her. But so far, 80% uh, advantage here for Ludo. Doing all right, kind of maneuvering around these these tools. I feel like Dark Eddie's a little scared to approach, which I think is very interesting with a character like Beno, who's got like really strong mid range tools that almost feel like disjoints. That I think would end up winning a lot of his interactions. But D Dark Eddie's really respecting Ludo's space right now. Exactly. I mean, that's one of the things that you have to. You just kind of have to against the player like Ludo. I mean, Ludo, if he gets in, that could be a stock at any bit. I mean, uh, we see him one way do percent. damage. Up smash? It's over. Major <laughs> upset. He got ninth, ninth of being players like E Sam. Bismuth, Jackal, like like all these great players, you know, and it was because, like in the East Side, he got one up air at 23, dead. He knows all of his bread and butters, <laughs> and if he gets one hit in, hey, that could be your stock right there. He is a master of just being like, hey, this ain't Kazuya, but it is Mario. <laughs> you know, getting in and just taking advantage of every single stock and scenario he gets in, I mean, that's Ludo for you. There you go. He's got to take care of him. I think his maneuverability is something to be commended on, but it is, of course, so much space oh, is given oh, to by oh, Dark Eddie. Oh, what oh, a string! He's oh, keeping it flying! Oh, almost getting that down here, but luckily, getting straight through it with that air dodge from Dark Eddie. Oh, oh, which time tries to whoa, dash whoa, attack whoa. in. Okay, we got a jab combo. Finally, sides of life from Dark Eddie after Ludo just landed another entire Twitch clip oh on Dark goodness. Eddie. That was incredible. Oh. The up smash that almost catched that air dodge in. We got Flood coming out too. Great parry on the witch twist. Instant witch time. She's going to have no info on Rico. Grab. Ludo doesn't even challenge it. Dead. Instead, he's going to get scooped into up tilt back here. That's a little tough. I think yeah. Ludo had the prime opportunity to take everything away from Dark Eddie right there. But you know, it's okay. We still got the game to play. Let's keep it rolling. You have 170%, but Bayonetta is one of those cards that, that if you get taken by Bayonetta, take you for a goddamn ride. Uh. Take you all the way, Uber you all the way home. Um, That that water coming out, a little bit of a tough snail. We're doing a lot of witch twisting. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Air Dodge is back to stage into immediate spot. Dodge oh, and Ludo whoa, just whoa, whoa, whoa. the whole thing That's, happen. that's dead. But that's, that's dead. a back throw, and that is dead. That was a, a, a very good down air from Air Dodge, right? right? It, it was down air right there, but fortunately for Ludo, seeing that um, rolling behind and just like that, the, the like first thing I learned in Wi-Fi, back throw. Back throw off, and just wow. like that, I mean, first game goes to Ludo. Yeah. I love how Ludo just didn't panic at all when there's like three wish twists at ledge. Ludo parried some of them, shielded the rest, and then after that, you know, Bayo's a little high. You might mm -hmm. want to press after uh, wish twist, but no, Ludo kept waiting, then Bayo air dodged in, Ludo kept waiting, mm -hmm. Bayo spot dodged, Ludo still waited, and then mm -hmm. dashed back. Exactly. <laughs> that's like, that's a different level Big of bad games and, and like, and, and, and patience that didn't even pay off in the moment, but mm -hmm. then immediately set up for a really great position was eventually able to get that back. The amount of wrinkles in his brain to even think about that is just 
phenomenal, you know? Uh -huh. it, 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 it's kind of crazy right now to see how Ludo thinks and how he gets around these snares. I mean, like, all of these destroyed and, and lawn hitboxes from Bayonetta, it's hard to get around if you are Mario, you know? Yep. You're a stubby little guy who can move and really, like, like push advantage, but again, as I was saying before, those disjoints are a thing. You know, yeah. you have to think I, about I think Bayonetta honestly like really would appreciate that mid-range, but Ludo has such amazing movement where it feels like that he can cover all of that mid-range while being safe, even though it doesn't logically make sense that his character should be able to do that against a character like Bayonetta. Oh, what a down tilt. And can you get much off of this? The witch was no. up. No. Oh, the down smash wow. stopping his foot straight down. Trying to get a little bit more off of that, but Unfortunately, just a little bit too much, too much bread for your buddy. Okay, nice parry up through, or sorry, up tilt. We got the wish twist. The afterburn kick is gonna whiff, and Ludo's gonna recover back to center stage. Get a little bit of percent in the process, but this is a bit of a disadvantage to work past. Nice, challenging with the corner, oh! despite getting hit by the fireball. Going in deep, but Ludo's gonna find his way out. Oh, now we got up air chains. There's a back air. We're evening things out just a little bit. There's the flood. Try to get better stage position here on town and city. Gets the read on the diagonal air dodge, but doesn't punish immediately. That's but that's that dead. will be death. The kill setup. Benetta finally lands it with that up tilt, reverse, back air. Love the wish twist on the fireballs. Mm. So it's a classic, you love to see it. Oh, the air dodge again, straight to ground. Ludo is, is like completely unaffected by those air mm. dodges, no matter where they are. He doesn't want to stutter, he doesn't want to press too early or get a little antsy. He just lets it happen. He's like, mm. I'm going to play the game I want the way I want to play it. Oh, just like that, the one, two, three, hitting him up off of there. The fair down string. tilt. Okay, we're seeing a back throw here. Mm. Not enough to take it just quite yet. We got fireball to stop the afterburner kick. We're gonna have Wish Twist, double jump, Wish Twist, oh, the air dodge! Oh no! The it's fear! Just a, the fear of Dark Eddie's heart! You we couldn't do not, even grab the ledge! You do not see a Bayonetta set without an SD. That's the <laughs> rule, and guess what? We see him run right now, but those Wish Twist and those Burger Kicks doing a little Ooh, more. Up this is it! Up and is that it? No, oh, the wait, 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 wait. Can I get back? He can, he can make get it back. back. Lucky the air trip sent him straight back to the ledge, but kind of scary. Both of them just faced the eyes of death right there. Exactly. <laughs> Moments away. We got Witch Twist. Fair one, two, three. Not going to be enough to take it. We're relatively even here on percent. Ooh. That downer definitely punishable. But Ludo didn't go for it and ends up going for back air instead, which at Dark Eddie can oh, roll past oh. the air stop. Fireball. Oh, no, punish. Try to cook. Try to run what underneath air dodge. Did you see the air dodge there? Coming out clutch because obviously, you know, that Witch Twist or, or or, or should I say Witch Kai coming out. Man. But luckily, air dodging through it. So there was not much to do except for trying to get him in neutral. But... Not there. But now we're back into the place where, hey, we're getting in, and Ludo gets in with a grab. Can he get much off of But All right, we're checking here at ledge. Jabs, we got down tilts. We got the, the whole whole feast and buffet right here. Ludo, I'm not afraid to press any of those buttons. Back air, going to bounce off that top left platform here on Town & City. Checking again with those down tilts. Potentially scoop up a kill. There's the anti-air up smash right next to his face on the down end. My goodness, like, like head straight to his heel. And, and guess what? The head wins sometimes. My goodness. <laughs> but now we're back to it. Um, how can a dog get this kill? 135 against this Mario. Trying to get some type of up tilt, but not going to happen quite just yet. But a little. Ooh, oh. Okay, it tries to, like, it ends up dropping these up air combos and tries to get re grabs instead. Um, I'm sure there's a tactical reason behind it. It's just a little interesting to see since the regrabs often uh, seem to be missing at the moment. And But Dark Eddie still has to earn this next stock, which sometimes made on the can struggle with. Oh, I'm going to have to eat that. I'm going to have to eat that. Commentator's curse right there. My bad. I can't believe you would say that, that combo. I'm, My I'm goodness. Like, how is he going to get it? Back air, back air. No. I mean, I mean, that's the class of Bayonetta. I, I mean, just throw it back air if it's high enough percentage. It's, it, it's like, that's the only thing that that's can you really have to commit do to doing it, right? Like, yeah, so you yeah. either scoop with your up, uh, up tilt and then get the back air, or you just go raw back air. Or just go raw, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or wish time back air. <laughs> or just do anything. I, I mean, there's not that many options for Bayonetta to really do. Oh, oh what? Air within. Within. Get a little bit more? No, but luckily in there, we'll trade with that and, and get some out of that scary snare. Okay, the back, back air, air puts Ludo in a bad place right now. What's the ledge are going to be? Okay, parry, parry to jab. And that is the not, not the game, not, not the, the game. game. Nope, getting nope. quite just back. I don't want to call it too early. I did not. I know. Oh. You see me start right yeah, there. Yeah. 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 Is that the game? No. These guys are both playing the back air playing game right now. They, exactly. They just want these back airs. They're spacing the back airs. Their entire neutral plan right now. They're trying to poke them with those feet. You uh -huh. know, those feet. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. We're the back close. air on top of the close. back air. The nair, but the nair will clip? come out. Can he get much off of this right there? It, it, Is it going to go deep? No, he's going to get clipped by the uppy instead. The and back air is going to do it. Lift punish the back air with the back air of your own. And Dark Eddie takes the next game. And just like that, Ed Dog or Dark Eddie. It's looking a little bit closer right now. Hey, mm -hmm. if you want to get in the Cascadia, this could be the game to win right now with how it's looking in losers. Hey, keep it up if you want to get in the mansion <laughs> next week. It's a bloodbath down there. Absolutely. It's a bloodbath. It is a bloodbath, especially for people who want to go. I mean, right now, Spade, Nano Burr, Biggie Mouth. Loser has to play Biggie Mouth, so Ooh. that's a kick.
that's a rob that's another character you have to think about uh -huh. cyan jojo losers is looking like a whole bunch of sharks that want to get at each other yep, my goodness yep. fish are friends but i'm hungry there's, some, there's something big to go eat at the end of the day too so you everyone really wants that cascadia clash Qualifier. You want to go You're there, eat the it. food, sleep in the mansion, <laughs> hang out with the bros, play yeah. some mafia. There's a reason why I'm going. Man, you know, kind of run it. Yeah. It's because it's fun. It's a great time. It's the funnest tournament. But we're getting back into this. Uh -huh. at, at Final Judgment. This is another topic qualified out of the winner's side. Let's see what we can happen right now. Mm -hmm. Now, we're just trying to play the footsie game and, and see if we can get in. And just like that, yeah, Ludo, Ludo gets in. Way in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if, uh, if Dark Eddie can use these tools to, again, keep Ludo a, a little bit more of like arm or, or even legs distance uh, in Bayonetta's case and then to really utilize that to convert off these combos. The because if there's one thing that Bayonetta can do, it can convert off almost anything. Witch Twist into Afterburner Kick. But and then we had an upper to end it off, but then whip the, the oh! forward smash and die for it? I have no idea where that forward smash was going. And they're going to have to take a huge punish on Azergon entire stock here. But they still got a lot to play around with here. There's the after kick is gonna get punished on the slide. Great stuff here from Ludo, evening up these percents. Uh, we're getting some up tilt into up air forward air chains. Great stuff here from Dark Eddie. Oh, again, the afterburn kick's gonna get whip punished. Witch Twist is on deck. Afterburn kick up air, what's next? Trying to go a little deep for some edge guarding. Witch Twist is gonna whip. We got Jab Oh, no. that will be it, you're at ledge, no, but not no, quite no. to say he's a little bit The kill spark imagine. is off it on that move, but the actual kill potential takes a little bit longer to really kick in. Exactly. I mean, like, like that's one of the best moves, and it's it is is jab, jab, and try to get it. Ooh, oh, that was pretty good. good. The one, two, oh, the one, oh, and the downer no. at the end of it. Maybe try to catch air dodge in. I think is what we're really looking for. It was for that, there. and basically get down the stage so you can find oh. the option again. Oh, that's a tough place to get back if you're bayonetta. Air Love the game back. back from that cape. Great the challenge from Ludo. Ludo, you're gonna come off stage. I'm gonna make your life a lot harder right now. Exactly, exactly. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be a thorn in your side, as we can see right there. But the flood oh. out and giving them the head. The I would take that. Trade every every second of the day, every day of the week, every, every week, week of, of the month, month every, every month, month of, of the year. year. I'll take that trade every single day. I'm saying, are you taking the trade? I'll take that trade. You take the trade. trade. I'll take the trade as well. <laughs> and just like that, Ludo is back into it. I mean, having that lead and and and, and having that, that 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 hill that you built for him to climb on. Yeah. Hey. It feels good. It feels good, man. It does. It really does. And this is exactly what Ludo wants to be, even with a bit of a stock deficit on the loop, honestly. And that turned that around, too. We got the loop up percent. Nice spot that's there on the grab. Has Flood fully charged. Ro ready and roaring for another up air chain into an up B off the top of this uh, here PS2. I can feel it. There's oh. the down tilt scoop off the Wish Twist parry. Goes in deep with the double cape. Still doesn't quite hit the back air. Ooh, the up tilt back air is also not going to confirm on oh, the side of Dark oh, Eddie. Oh, oh, I get oh. the up smash. Dark Eddie's getting really greedy with these smash attacks. But the burger kick in the back air. Not gonna kill quite just yet, but that yet. seemed like a snare. It was like, okay, I'm gonna take that stock. But Which not a good guarding? spot for you to be in if you're Ludo. Trying to get him. Ooh, with the jab, the jab, jab. Make it? 140, no. not quite not just yet. Hold it a edge. little bit more, young man. Then maybe you can get in and get that stock. But when it's there, where, hey, Cyphus looking a little bit, you know, <laughs> trying to get up that hill. Trying yeah. to get up the hill. You're oh. rolling it. You're rolling it as best you can. Roll as best you can, young buck. Up. All right, what's the les what situation here? What's Ludo looking for right now? Nair in. What's next? We're dash dancing. Nair again. Mm -hmm. All right, the movement schmicks. Get in your opponent's head right here, right now. The air dodge back. Finally, Ludo capitalizes on another air dodge. Dark oh, had to throw oh, 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 that's balls. two. Two fireballs. Luckily, the burner kick will get you straight back in. Oh, try and do a little bit too much. Ooh, the but the back, back air, air it's a softer hit of it, so it's not quite going to kill just yet. We got bullet time. Come for a little going bit. Going for it. Oh. Going very deep. The oh. ledge jump and bats with it is going to save her. And the back air is going to kill from all the way across there. No kill spark either. That was an Octo Taco the scenario. That was an Octo Taco scenario. When I think of that, I think of me and, like, like I don't know, middle school trying to talk to a girl. I'm like, what's going on yes. here? Throws him off stage right there. 184, straight up back. Again, oh, not yeah. check yeah, with those forward tilts. You have to check with those forward tilts. And just like that, Ludo is up. Ludo's got a very simple less dropping game. I'm going to jab. Boop, I'm going to down tilt. Boop, boop. Jab, down tilt, maybe some forward tilt. Exactly. And that's the it. Tilt Just takes check it right with the very quick, fast light moves. That's all it needs to be. Okay, that's Nothing crazy. That's what Mario is. Mario is a character that is simple, but can be perfected to a point where, hey, I can take songs very quickly. And as you see right now, Ludo is, is, is in the lead for a reason. Yeah. yeah. Like, you put Mario on Battlefield, it's basically like a treadmill straight to heaven. You're, just, you're going Stay away to heaven, as we say. That's ah. right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you guys know about German in Western Washington. I know Noah is, is, is smiling at that joke. Um, but... <laughs> 
the down air will take a little bit more snare. Ooh, is he gonna get a little bit more off the back air? Not quite just yet. Now he's playing the game where how do no, I get in to the air? The, the catch right there is crazy. Absolutely. Um, just a little bit of I a was weird crazy once. hitbox and hurtbox on the way in and a forward air works. And the fact that he knew, yeah, I was gonna check this with up tilt and it worked. Crazy. Ooh. 88% advantage right now. Ludo jumping over that down tilt and getting a back through for it. Kind of huge. All right, he's checking with these tilts at ledge yet again. He's not even afraid of Wish Twist. He's not no. afraid of after Afterburner Kick at all. Again, check with your lights. Even though these moves are probably going to lose to those moves, he doesn't care. No, 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 no. I'll take this straight all day. I mean, like, like the Nair game out of those combos, that's 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 how you do it. You trade with him and get out of those combos that Bayonetta have. Because Bayonetta is really good at putting up damage. No, Ooh. damage, you, you get hit once. Guess what? You get hit once, twice, thrice times, you, you know? Yeah. You get hit with all of it, you know. Um, it's got it's got her a little bit. Okay, we're fireballing here off the edge again. Parry on the witch twist because he's not afraid. He's got it down. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah. Let's back there. Right no there. bat within this time to save him. Nope, nope, nope. Couldn't bat at all. But up. Oh, okay, nice up. Uh, but beating up all those coins out of Bayonetta right now. Mm. My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Just, just, just being an absolutely up right now. The burner kick, a little bit more. Can we oh. see the one, two, three? But no, the up air is not going to hit quite just yet. Gonna That's kill. not going to kill. But you know, just maybe a little bit more damage. Oh, unlike, very lucky on the grab snare right there. Tough, tough, tough. If you are dark Eddie. trying to find a way. I, I, I see Eddie likes to play uh, kind of the, the spirit spacing neutral game a lot with forward air, which I think is a bit of an awkward tool to kind of start a lot of this stuff with with Bayonetta sometimes, especially against a smaller character like Mario and one with such great anti air options as Mario. That was a really good jab. jab right there. Such it, a good jab. I'm, I'm brain blasted by that every time. Oh, it's so the simple bats getting them out of Ooh. that spike. What a good call out from There's Dark Eddie. There's a forward air. One, two, three. We got one thirty-four percent here. Oh, the coins coming out of Bayonetta yet again. I'm not really sure what happened right there, but the back okay. air will take, the back it. Is gonna take it. Two stocks apiece, 111% here on Dark Eddie. Ludo is two stocks away, really one hit and a stock away Absolutely. from moving on to winner's side top eight. Uh, so this is, this is super, super scary. Absolutely, it, it, it's it's definitely very scary if you are Dark Eddie. You have to get in and and, and, and pick up some type of damage, but Ludo's not really letting you get in. Bro. That's not smash. And so sometimes that. you sit there and just stand there wait. Wait, and just wait. See, stick up. Oh, under look, there. look, look, you walk towards me. Guess what? But I'm very flexible when I, like, boom, <laughs> dead, you're gone. You just oh. have to sit it out. Oh, my goodness. The resets on these situations. A double back here from the top right platform onto the ground. But we're going to see Dark Eddie fight their way out. Get caught by the up tilt. Afterburn kick away. Losing a bit of stage control for it, though. Now stuck on this upper platform. Not a place you want to be. Oh, a reversal of fates potentially. No, the Wish Twist is going to whip. Great parry on that forward air from Ludo. We're stacking up here from Dark Eddie trying to potentially take this next stock, but Ludo's not letting him have it just yet. Great back air. What is coming next? Wish Twist again going deep. I don't think Ludo's going to Oh, oh calling out the fireball with the s -Rash. There's life coming from Dark Eddie right now. I mean, that big fist, hey, that will put some pep in my step. I know that for damn sure. But <laughs> the upper is coming from Ludo is going to put it Dark Eddie in not, the best, in not the best scenario. That's uh -huh. for damn sure. Yeah, 95% behind. It's rough. Nothing that Bayonetta can't bring back if she can get really one of those huge extended long combos off. But we haven't seen Dark Eddie really able to land a lot of that against Ludo all throughout this set. It feels like we're, we're watching a different flavor of Bayonetta that's actually playing a lot more of an active neutral. But and finally, that, that air is going to be called the set. out. This is so interesting now because now winners is set. That is just what's happening. Every single person who is now in winner's side of top eight has already qualified, qualified. for Cascading Clash. <laughs> now let's look at the losers. Or, or, let's let's talk about this match first. Yeah, of course. Know, there's of course. a lot to talk about. Again, yep. I really liked what Ludo did at ledge. You know, mm. whenever there was a misstep in Dark Eddie um, at all trying to get back to ledge, guess what? It's a down tilt in the back here. It is a yep. ledge trump. It is something else. And 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 we saw all the time. But again, there was a lot of fight from Dark Eddie. You know, he got. Those up tilts like it was nothing, you know? Yeah. He, he knew how to get it, and, and he definitely did a fish for it, but guess what? The reel was out there. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Sometimes your bait got to take the bait. That's just how it is. Um, but I, I, I do got to say, the way Ludo really did not have any fear about specifically which twist. I think that move is, is a move that can cause so much annoyance and so many problems for a lot of characters that don't have disjoints, especially mm -hmm. because of how like wide range the hitbox is around Bayonetta mm -hmm. and how it makes it so hard to challenge her. But every almost every single time, Ludo had no problem because he would sit at ledge and take those wish twists on shield or parry them, more specifically parry them, mm -hmm. and use that frame base to actually get a punish okay. off wish twist, which is relatively unheard of 
honestly. Mm -hmm. And that makes playing this matchup like almost infinitely easier in so many different ways, right? Off stage, Ludo knew when to air dodge perfectly. Ludo knew how to drift perfectly. Wish Twist was not a problem. On stage, Lich Twist was not a problem. But now we have a little bit of the update. So mm -hmm. coming out of winning side, we already know we saw it here today. Mr. E versus MZ, JDB, Ludo. Hey, that's qualified. That is the the main bulk of the winners, but oh. Spade is out losing side and just now taking over Burr is Nano Ash. Oh, Nano wow. Ash is still alive to make it to Cascadia, but we also have Dark Eddie and Biggie Mouth, Cyan and Jojo the Hobo. Now, Jojo the Hobo and Cyan are playing off, er, off stream right now, mm -hmm. and Dark Eddie and Biggie Mouth we're probably going to see on stream soon. Oh. Okay. All okay, right. so we will be doing a break right now, but... Again, the players who are still involved right now in the Cascadia Clash qualifying is as follows. Spade, Nano Ash, Dark Eddie, Biggie Mouth, and Cyan. Now, mm -hmm. we're going to go to break because in about 10 minutes, we're going to see the vote. And I will be back here yeah. to basic curate and, and, and see how that goes because my boy Peace is in and also my boy Major is in. It's the oh other God, side I of the Cascadia Clash qualifier. We're going to get the last so two players tonight. Exactly. And we're going to find out one of them in almost about 10 minutes. Mm. So you guys definitely don't want to go anywhere because this is exactly what you want to be here for. Major versus Peace on the huge race to the finish. Exactly. Who can make it to the end. So much. By the way, I would like to say it's like myself. Thank you so much for donating to our cause. We put in a lot of work with our merchandise, with just networking, with all the stuff that we had to do. We put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. We've had artists from all over the PMW, um, outsourced. We had people from Alberta, California, <laughs> everywhere come from our qualifiers. So it's just thankful. I'm thankful that you guys have been able to support and been able to watch us. I've, mm. I've been to almost every single one, and it feels good to see it finally come to a conclusion, right. at least somewhat. So. Yeah, to some degree. So we're going to throw ourselves over to a break. You guys, definitely stay tuned. We'll be back shortly. Of course. Follow Take me on care. Twitter, Cuff too. I'll see you guys later.